standing with a student who was inside at the time and actually recorded audio of the gunshots. This is Zaria. Tell me what it was like when you heard that and what happened next. Well, I mean, at first, uh, it was going good in the day, and I guess the um, principal chose the right day to do a hall sweep because students were obligated to go to and from, exactly to and from where it was supposed to be. So when I got into the counselor's office to where I was going, this kid came in was like, they're shooting, they're shooting. And the counselor was like, wait, what did he say? It was like, it's shooting. I didn't take it seriously because this type of stuff just don't go on our school. Our school is not a bad school, and we hold, you know, good uh, reputation as far as arts and things. So I wasn't believing it, but then they called Mal Davis on the intercom. That's when I was kind of more believing it. And we went to the uh, counselor's office and we put a big old bookshelf over the door. And I still wasn't really believing it until I started hearing all gunshots. Then when I started hearing gunshots, panic set into my heart. And we had like kids that were crying and stuff. And um, as that was going on, I tried to call my mom and things. Well, I didn't try to call her. I texted my mom and things, and I started recording for what happened in the situation. And I put my phone down, and I was looking for something to my, defend myself with, but the gunshots were coming too close. So I couldn't get up to defend myself because they were going back and forth shooting real bad. So I had to, my teacher told me to lay down on the floor. So that's what I did until the police officers came and, came and got us. Let's bring in mom. I want to know how you found out about it and how quickly did you get here? Yes, well, my youngest daughter, Zariah, she also attends the school. And um, I just dropped her off maybe about 30 minutes uh, before she called and told me that she was screaming and crying and I didn't know what she was saying. It was um, very um, incoherent, so I didn't know what she was crying for. So I'm asking her, what are you crying for? What's going on? And she was saying, someone is in the school shooting. So I'm like, my mind was just blown because I just dropped her off. And as my daughter said, this has never happened in the years that my daughters have been there. My oldest daughter, she's a senior and my youngest daughter, she's a junior. So I'm not, I'm not used to anything like this. It's actually my first time ever experiencing something like this. And now that it's hit home for me, for all of these school shootings that I have seen on TV, it's, it's unreal. And so I just got up here as soon as I could and thank God they're okay. What was it like seeing her? <sighs> My God, it's, it's un, un, unscribable. I, I pray for God's protection. I plead the blood over my children every day, over my children, over my, my family, and, and God is real. He real, he, he showed up for my daughters and he protected them when I couldn't. And That's so, amazing to hear. So, right, come back over here. I just want to know, what's it like hearing your mom and, and being with her after this? To be honest, I just feel like I'm grateful because while I was in there, I held on to my, my Jesus peace and I prayed because there was nothing else I could do but to pray. So I prayed and then when I uh, got in contact with her and I saw her out here and I saw my aunt, because it's three of us that go here. Me and my sister were on the same floor, and I saw my aunt, and it was just a relief that somebody was here to come and take us away from the situation, and I felt like stuff was going to be okay. Anything you want to add, Mom? Um, just pray over your kids. Pray over them every day. I mean, things are out of your control, but nothing is out of God's control. So always pray for your children's safety, and, you know, just always keep in contact with them. Get them a cell phone if they don't have one, because if... My daughters didn't call me. I wouldn't have known or wouldn't be able to get up here as quickly as, as I could. So cell phones are always good when used the proper way. But um, the police, they, they got here, I mean, a flood of police officers. So um, I'm feeling okay now. But um, And if your children are asking for therapy because of this situation, um, if they are emotionally distressed, please get them some therapy and counseling. Thank you both for sharing this incredibly emotional experience, and we're glad that you're both okay.